Next, we got uh, the Texans at the Denver Broncos, which my favorite team. I've uh, been a fan of them since I was seven years old when they won the last Super Bowl with John Elway. So, um, been through all the ups and downs. Um, had a lot of hope this year. Not looking the greatest so far. Um, the one big thing that sticks out for me in this game is the coaching. Russ has not looked great, or, or there hasn't been any, like, good moments, but there hasn't really been any glaringly bad moments either. Um, I mean, he's had a couple off throws, but he's had a couple decent, so, I mean, it's been pretty neutral for Russ, I would say, like, as it comes to decision-making, like, where he throws the ball, or how he's throwing the ball, like, accuracy-wise, and... He looks about the same skill set wise, in my opinion. Um, the coach does not have this team prepared at all. They're running the clock down to zero. It's either a false start or one second away from being a false start every single play. And if they don't get that together, they can forget about competing in the AFC West. Uh, I, I, I could see them finishing last if, if it keeps going like this. I'm hopeful that Russ will show a little leadership and either, you know, not disregard his coach, but almost put, put it more so in, into his own hands. Um, he's really good at just backyard football, scripted, unscripted um, plays. Um, so... And another thing, like it, it, the play calling, like they'll be doing, like yesterday there was a third and one or a fourth and one. They did a fullback option. I saw uh, the backup tight end running with the ball and a dude running next to him, par parallel to him, like they were going to do a, a lateral on a, on a goal line like type of play. They had their line stacked, like they had all their big boys in there and their linebackers. We had our line pretty stacked. I mean, it, it 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 was, and then they had they had a call like that in the first first game against the Seahawks, where they did a two two or three tosses on like like I could see you doing a toss if it's like second and short or first and ten or but we we're doing tosses on like third and long or like second and long or just and they're not calling out of plays that. Like, Russ is not audible, like, not taking the authority to call out of stuff that looks stupid. Um, Judy being hurt really hurts, I think. Um, he has, in my opinion, the highest ceiling on the Broncos, like, when it comes to skill players. Uh, he was picked seventh overall, I believe, out of uh, Alabama. And he's had nobody but Teddy Bridgewater and Drew Locke throwing him the ball. And that was the worst quarterback play I have seen in the 20 some years I've been watching the Broncos was last year when Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater and Drew Locke were sharing the ball. That was the worst that I have ever seen. Simeon was better than that. Uh, all our other no-name quarterbacks I, I've seen play better than them. They were horrible. And I don't know how many times Drew Locke overthrew a deep ball to Jerry Judy when he was wide open last year. I would probably say like five or six times I saw it. So, I have high hopes for him. I think he can get open. I think he's really fast. I think he's got playmaking abilities. Cortland Sutton has been our number one. He's very sure-handed. He's a polished route runner. Um, yesterday, he got seven catches for 120 yards. Luckily, he did something because otherwise the Texans were made a comeback and they had a lead at the end there. Uh, as for the Texans, it's hard to say with them, man. Uh, I like Davis Mills. He's an old school quarterback. He's tough. But, I mean, they got nobody. They got no skill players. And the fact that this was even a game blows my mind. I was predicting a blowout. And even after us, the Broncos, losing to, to the Seahawks, I was predicting a, a blowout still. I, I figured they'd at least beat them by two touchdowns. 
They didn't even score two touchdowns. So, or, yeah. So, I'm, 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 I'm worried about the Broncos mostly because of the coaching. And I think he's getting too fancy. Um, obviously, another thing is, like I said, not having them prepared. Um, they should not be running the ball down to zero every single play and getting 50% of those near misses called for false starts. You have the crowd telling you five, four, three, two, one. I, I've I've never really seen that. Like it was almost like trying to help, but being sarcastic at or condescending and sarcastic at the same time. Like it's week two and this is happening to you already. You better get your stuff together, dude, because that offense has a lot of potential. That defense was a top five defense last year. They had one of the best pass defenses last year. And added Randy Randy Gregory, who was uh, at the tail end of his career, kind of. But he he's a good run stuffer. He's a good addition. Um, so yeah, my I, I'm very nervous for the for the upcoming season for them. Um, again, as for the Texans, not not a lot of skilled players. Um, I was surprised that they were in it and. You know, they're very much in rebuild mode. I think Lovey Smith has his team really well coached because, I mean, they played the Colts, who obviously aren't showing much this year, but they played the Colts in the overtime. Or they tied them, I believe, right? If it wasn't a tie, it was an overtime. And they played the Broncos that close with nobody on that team. They got Brandon Cooks. That's it. They have a bunch of practice squad second string dudes on that team, and they are playing hard. So I respect that, but it's going to be a long season for them too. Um, Broncos' future doesn't look very bright right now. Next week we play the 49ers at a night game. I'm a big Jimmy G guy. I think that he's a winner. And I think he's going to make another run with the 49ers. I think Trey Lance is kind of overhyped. I figured something like this would happen. I figured he'd have a bad game where he threw, like, you know, three or four picks and either get benched or, or hurt because he has not played a lot of games in college. So um, they got Jimmy G in there, who's a winner. And I believe it's at San Francisco as well. So that will be, that'll be a show me game for sure for the Broncos.